Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have a guest, her name is Julie. She's a Qigong instructor. Qigong is similar to yoga in that it's a mindfully based movement practice. She's gonna go into more detail on what the practice is all about and then she's gonna take you through a sequence so you can try out the practice yourself. I'll link all of her information in the description down below. And with all that said, I'll let Julie take over the video. Hi, my name is Dr. Julie Kramer, and I am so excited to bring you information about another wonderful healing modality similar to yoga, ancient in its practice, looking at the internal organs and the ways in which we move all of our body, and also subtly a little bit different, and that is Qigong. Qi is spelled Q-I and Gong, G-O-N-G. Qi in Chinese is sometimes captured as the concept of energy within our bodies. And it's actually so much more complex than that, but energy is a really good way to understand it. Think of motion movement, whether it's waves moving in the ocean, blood pumping through your body, the actual pumping action when you move your muscles, that is all initiated and made possible by Qi. Gong means skill or work. And what we're trying to do when we do Qi Gong is to use our bodies, use our minds skillfully to move the energy within our bodies for great happiness and mental health. The biggest difference from yoga, I would say, is that Qi Gong really focuses also on nature and our imaginations a lot more. We use our imaginations as we visualize the natural world around us, energy moving within our bodies, and some of the practices we even imagine colors moving through our bodies, clearing stagnant energy. Today we're just going to do a simple taste of a very famous Qigong sequence. You can do Qigong moves one at a time in very famous sets like what we're going to do or even in dances. Today we're going to be doing the eight pieces of silk brocade. Begin with your feet side by side touching. Gaze softly into the distance just to ground for a moment, coming present in your space. Step one foot, your left foot ideally, off to the side and really root your feet down. Imagine connecting to earth energy at least six feet down into the earth. No matter if you're on a skyscraper or working outside, draw this energy up through the soles of your feet. This energy moves up the legs and with soft knees, it's able to come up unencumbered through the legs where we then tuck the pelvis gently forward, rooting the perineum down. That energy can now move up to this area behind and below the navel called the lower dantian. From the strong rooting, we lengthen the spine. Drop the shoulders, tuck the chin slightly so now our spine is an open conduit of energy for heavenly chi, imagining stream of chi coming down through the heavens. Also moving through the body to this lower dantian. We breathe in and out of the nose, gentle breaths. I will give cues for synchronizing breath with movement, but if at any time that is difficult for you, just do the gentle breath. Breath work is one of the most important aspects of Qigong, just like with yoga. Inhale, float your arms up to shoulder height. Turn the palms up, bend the elbows. Bring the hands over, palms now float down through center. We move slowly in Qigong so we don't chase the Qi away. Imagine a leaf blowing on the wind. We want to capture the Qi within our bodies as we bring palms together to our heart center, gazing at the fingertips. 
Release the hands with the right hand in a loose fist to greet the open left palm. And set the intention today to just be present. If your mind wanders elsewhere, come back to the cues, come back to your breath. Now we're ready to do the eight pieces of brocade. Holding up the heavens like a pillar, we inhale our hands up through center, continuing the inhale as we turn the palms up and gaze up. Exhale, float the hands out and down to your sides. We'll do this one more time. Often you'll do more repetitions, but we're just doing a taste today for you to just feel this relaxing, calming movement as you flow. Exhale, floating out and down. Drawing the bow to shoot an arrow. Bring your hands into loose fist by your side for a moment as you step out wide. Bring both hands down in front and we're going to inhale with open palms and then loose fist as we come up to shoulder height. Exhale as you bend the knees, the index finger and thumb are up as you draw back with the opposite hand. Imagine gazing as far as you can see as you release. Inhaling across, loose fist as you come up. Exhale, bend and draw the bow. Gaze far off into the distance. Inhale, flat hands to the center. Then loose fist up to your shoulder one more time each side. Exhale, lower, draw the bow. Inhale, all the way across and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the knees, come back to center, feet come back to parallel. Penetrating heaven and earth. Inhale, both palms to heart height. One hand turns down, the other turns up as you press, creating space for your organs, allowing the lymphatic system to drain. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, press, reach. This is also known as one-armed pillar. We'll do one more time each side. Really lengthen, keeping the shoulder down though. Don't let it creep up in your ear. Inhale, last one. Exhale, press. Feel the opening, the expansion. Inhale, both hands to the heart. Turn the palms down and exhale by your sides. The next pose is called the dragon or sometimes you might see wise owl gazes backward. The hands hang by your sides but not touching. Inhale, exhale, turn at the waist, the shoulders and then the neck, gazing far behind you as far as you can imagine seeing. Turn back to center on the inhale. Exhale, turn the other way. Gaze far behind you. And exhale, return. Good. Wagging the tail. So put your weight into one leg, step out wide again, and bring the feet nice and wide into this horse riding stance. In yoga, they just call it horse stance, but in, in Qigong, it's horse riding stance because that's the intention. We're going to drop our chest forward and you can modify by not coming as far down. That's also appropriate. We're really gonna focus on clearing along the side of the body, clearing heart fire, which calms your emotions and gives you good sleep. So inhale, lift up, gaze up. Exhale, lower through center. Shift your hips to the other side as you lift on the inhale. Exhale, lower. We'll do one more time each side. Balancing the emotions is one of the best benefits of Qigong. 
you'll notice a sense of calm as you practice regularly, even in the face of some pretty tough challenges. So come back up, bring the feet to parallel yet again. Good. Now shift your weight and step out wide to the other side for thrusting fist with angry eyes, just wide open eyes. So fists are um, in loose, they're loose by your side, but as we thrust forward, we bend the knees fully, exhale, open your eyes wide, tighten your fists, tighten your forearms, relax the eyes, relax the fist, come back in. Inhaling as you do so. So let's inhale, exhale, thrust, tight fists, tight forearms, eyes up and wide, and then come back in. We'll do one more time each side. The wide open eyes release stagnant energy in your liver, which relates to anger, irritation, frustration. And when we relax the eyes, fresh chi flows in. So you really balance that emotion as well as the health of your liver. Good. We have two more. You're doing great. This next one is reaching back and folding forward. Bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, open your chest. Inhale, lift up and do a gentle light back bend. Don't compress your lower back. And then exhale, hinge forward, hang heavy, grabbing opposite elbows. Release your hands, brush your fingers over your feet. Bring your hands to your hips and roll up. We'll do one more. Inhale, lift up and bow. Exhale, hinge and fold with soft knees. Grab the opposite elbow. Brush your toes, hands to your hips, and gently roll up. And now vibrating the heels, our final pose. Let your hands hang heavy by your side, not touching, and lift way up your heels way up. Gaze at a point in the distance or on the floor and then drop down. We'll do that two more times. Up, then drop. And one more time. Nice lift and drop. Sinking the chi. Inhale. Bend the elbows. Exhale. Float down. Bring your left foot back in so the feet are side by side again. One more time, inhale. Letting all the chi come to your lower dantian, your main source of power. Hands one on top of the other here. Close your eyes for one final posture called bamboo swing. Just let your body rock and sway, rock and sway. Letting the chi move wherever it needs to go. A complete release. Release your hands, open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for this wonderful Qigong sampler. I hope you check out more wonderful Qigong videos um, with Radiant Shanti.